Hello everybody and welcome to a new lecture of Udo 11 development tutorial. In this video we are going to learn more about scaffolding new modules. Okay. Here I'm going to navigate to our Udo 11 tutorial Udo and over there we have the files and of course one of these files or folders is add-ons as we are going to learn how to create a new um, a new module we will use scaffold with help to get more details about this uh, option or this command uh, and as you can see it generates an auto module skeleton it will help you to uh, let's say create the module using the standard or the official concept of creating a new module the folders and structure directories files um, okay so um, as you can see we we have almost uh, I'm sorry exactly two options one of them is dash H it stands for help as you can see we already used it over there we also have dash T for templates we have two templates it's default and theme but we interested more in default actually theme is not included uh, in the scope of this tutorial um, I believe I can uh, I can record a new video or generate a new video for this option but for now we are interested in default okay so now we have also two uh, two parameters to be passed one of them is the name and as you can see it's not contained in uh, square brackets uh, just like uh, this or the other options it's not optional it's mandatory uh, parameter to be passed so when when you uh, use the script or do dash pen scaffold you need to provide the name of the module let's uh, name it custom HR okay and here's the destination you you have two options you can um, uh, as you can see it's uh, there is uh, there, there is a square bracket so you have two options you can ignore uh, the destination uh, so that uh, the script or scaffold command will create the module in the same directory you are in which will be an Odoo folder or you can just type the, the destination um, for for this purpose I will tell him tell it to create it in we do 11 tutorial in this in the parent uh, folder and I'm going to navigate to the parent tutorial and here we are we have custom HR our new module and we have the controllers demo and it manifests module security views and uh, it's exactly the module skeleton let's still that uh, you might not need all these files but you still have the official skeleton or let's say the most common skeleton that be used by all the developers around the world okay it's very simple common but it will help you to let's say to save um, a few minutes to create your module it will help you also to uh, mistype uh, things or lines in, in uh, the files like manifest for for example it's, as you can see it will tell you how to do things in, in this file there is some comments um, and I'm sure I'm pretty sure that you have uh, a good experience with Python uh, as you can see it's uh, the hash in the beginning of the line which is uh, comments okay um, it's very easy and very simple okay and let's move to the next video bye